What is a dental bone graft? And why would you need one? Let's talk. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about bone grafts. So a bone graft, sometimes referred to bone augmentation, is where new bone from another part of your body, a donor, an animal, usually cows, or synthetic bone, regardless of where it comes from, new bone is placed into your existing bone, programming your body to build more bone in that space. As the graft fuses and integrates, it makes your existing bone stronger and denser. It's like triggering a natural reaction that's built into your body, strengthening your bone. So why would someone need a bone graft, we rely on healthy, dense bone to keep our teeth deeply rooted and secure enough for chewing, right? So grafting helps reinforce areas of our mouth where tooth mobility, loose teeth, or tooth loss is a risk. The three most common reasons you would need more bone height or more bone density are, one, for dental implants. Just like teeth, dental implants need bone to fully surround them in order to hold them in place. So if there is not enough bone in your jaw to hold in an implant, you can't get an implant. Oftentimes, bone grafts are needed prior to to getting an implant. Two, gum disease. Gum disease, aka periodontal disease, physically destroys the bone around your teeth. However, if you catch the infection early enough, you can stop the spread of the disease. Unfortunately though, if it's too late and too far gone, the bone won't grow back on its own. So if you're running the risk of tooth mobility or tooth loss, a bone graft can often help reinforce your smile. And three, bone loss. Bone tends to shrink away after a tooth goes missing. Like if you've had an extraction for some reason, the shrinking bone may not seem like an issue if you're not getting an implant there, but it will affect the healthy neighboring teeth next to it. Okay, so we know what a bone graft is and why someone might need a bone graft, but now let's talk about what you should expect at your appointment if you're about to get a bone graft. Your actual bone graft appointment usually gets combined with other treatment like an extraction, periodontal surgery, or a sinus lift. So like, for example, you'll most likely be scheduled to get your tooth pulled plus get a bone graft at that same appointment. And on the date of your appointment, you can plan on your dentist numbing the graft site just like they would during any other routine procedure. Most of the time, nothing more than a local anesthetic would be needed. You can be completely awake and drive yourself home afterwards with nothing more than a numb cheek and lip. I do have a video all about the different sedative options, the different dental anesthesia options if you're curious to learn more about additional anesthetics that can be used. Either way, whether you're asleep or awake, for the graft to be placed, a small incision will be made so that the bone underneath can be accessed. Then your dentist will place the graft material directly on the exposed bone or inside of the open socket. After that, the tissue is closed up over the graft and sutured in place. Then comes the healing process. Grafting doesn't just take overnight, right? You have to let your body integrate with it where it fuses the graft in place and forms new bone around it. This process may last anywhere from three to six months, but don't worry, you won't be feeling it that whole time. If you had a tooth extracted, you might experience some tooth sensitivity, tenderness, or minor swelling for a few days. But once it's been a week, you won't have any discomfort anymore. Internal healing will be taking place for the next three to six months, but you won't feel it that whole time, like I said. Your dentist will take x-rays at various intervals to measure the bone density and make sure things are healing properly. And you can set yourself up for proper healing by following your dentist's home care instructions the days immediately after your bone graft surgery. You'll want to take things easy, plan to eat soft foods and not to chew on that side of your mouth for a couple days. And depending on what type of stitches your dentist used, they might be dissolvable or you might need to go back and have the sutures removed in a week or two later. In all, the procedure itself won't be painful because like we said, your dentist will numb you up. And depending on what you had done, you might feel a little tender afterwards, but as long as you pay careful attention to your dentist's home care instructions, you will recover in no time. And just a little insight to the home care instructions, which would be for the first few days, they're generally things like avoiding hot spicy foods, not drinking carbonated, caffeinated, or alcoholic beverages, not drinking with a straw, no smoking, applying an ice pack to that side of your face on and off for the first 24 hours, and keeping your head elevated for the first one to two days. They might also recommend you to take medication as prescribed, such as an antibiotic or over the counter pain relievers depending on your dentist's instructions. Again, those are just some of the common suggestions your dentist will have. Be sure to ask them exactly what they want you to do for a quick recovery. And lastly, if you want to learn more about the cost and whether or not insurance covers bone grafting, I will link my bone grafting article with a pricing list so you can get a better idea of what the overall cost would be. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you did. If you want more Teeth Talk, come hang out with me on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.